I am so cold. This has turned into a over 24 hour OMAD fast. I was gonna do an extended fast, but I'm too cold. I have to study for my PT certification and I live in Calgary and it's too damn cold. I just got back from Cax Par and Podcast, filming a podcast episode, but welcome if you're new here. My name is Daniel Joy. I made this transformation with one meal a day. I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. Started my weight loss journey at 282 pounds using a combination of keto, mainly keto. Keto diet is the magic diet for me. It's just the diet that works for me. It helps keep me in a calorie deficit. It helps me burn body fat. It just makes me feel good, like overall. So yeah, your girl's back on keto. Not doing OMAD, but this is an OMAD vlog because I was going to do an extended fast because I got an injection into my knee. Speaking of which, why did I get an injection to my knee? Because I started one meal a day as a tool to help me stop binge eating after getting into a car accident, which is why I got an injection in my knee. So there you have it. And I shoulder injury and the whole lot. But I'm cold. It's, it's freezing and I can't do a fast when I'm this cold, I just can't. So um, I got some food from Cax Bar and Podcast, which is amazing. And um, their food's clean. It doesn't give me any issues. I know where they get their food. They get their food at the same place that I get my organic stuff from. So I got a taco salad and some barbecue wings. My son and I are gonna share this. So I'm gonna head home and get to Alex and we are gonna do this one meal a day. I'm so cold, like, I don't know. Like, I could continue fasting, but I'm just too cold and I need to eat. So I'm just gonna do like really long OMAD fasts. It's like fasting, right? <laughs> All right, time to break my OMAD fast. This is gonna be a long fast if I can find my phone. Last time I checked, I was at 27 hours. So I got a taco salad with some steak. That's gonna be so good. Got some wings and that is for my son. So I'm gonna, he's gonna have the fries, but we're gonna like split everything here. So delicious. So I literally fasted for 27 hours and 15 minutes. I'll probably do this again tomorrow, but not so long. I could go the full day, but we're just gonna do 27 hours because I need my brain to study. So 27 hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to break my fast with some steak. That steak looks so good. I didn't realize they had steak there. Um, the lovely uh, waitress at the restaurant who I know, well, kind of know, basically. Um, this is from Cax Bar and Bodhat Cast. Basically said she gets the taco salad with steak. So I was like, that's a good idea. Breaking my fast. Oh my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just died. So good. So good. So good. Alberta beef. Berta beef. Berta beef. Berta beef. <laughs> So there you have it. That was yesterday's 1200 calorie low carb OMAD vlog. It's not a keto OMAD vlog. It's a low carb vlog because I had 64 grams of total carbs, 60 grams of net carbs. Now I'm going to share with you my macros and calories for that day. I had 40, no, 64 grams of carbs, 117 grams of protein, and 60 grams of fat, a total of 1,248 calories. And I ate that meal within an hour. It was a classic OMAD meal, a 27 hour, 1,200 calorie OMAD. Um, I've been struggling with fasting right now. I'm attempting to get back into fasting again. That was filmed yesterday, so today I'm attempting to try to do a, tw a 48. I could have done it yesterday. I psyched myself out because I was busy doing things. I was running up and down. Then I went to Cax and then the podcast. I'm like, okay, if I go to Cax, I have to have their food because it's so good. So today I'm staying home. I'm not leaving my house. I will be going to Cax tomorrow for my podcast, which I'm with my partner, which I'm currently working on. We're trying to, starting a podcast is a lot of work. I didn't realize how much you needed and how much you needed to sort out, but we think we finally got things nailed down. So with OMAD, I highly recommend if you're starting it off to eat at the same time daily. 
I also recommend eating within an hour eating window or a two hour eating window. An hour eating window is good enough for a good solid like 1200 calorie meal um, or 1200 calories per the day. That's all it is. I think it's easier to eat 1200 calories within an hour than it is to eat 1200 calories throughout the day. It's harder because then you got to make sure your meals are very like small size, which is fine, but not everyone's going to get there in the beginning, right? It's easier for someone to diet, I think, this way. This is my take on it. You can do it the other way. It's, you know, let's just say it's all individual. But in my personal experience, it's easier to fast all day and then eat within an hour or two hour eating window, like less calories, than it is to eat throughout the day for someone who's not, you know, an expert dieter, for someone who's starting their weight loss journey. Um, even like Julia Renee said that when she like crunches her calories lower for a bodybuilding show, she starts eating at noon. Time restricted eating helps to restrict the calories. It really does. It's like a method of self-control and there's benefits to your body when you are fasting, of course. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the words time-restricted eating. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.